Check up on me. I really appreciate that. Well, I hope you're doing well tonight. You know, I've been working on this video a long time, and while it's not quite the production quality I'd like it to be, I hope it still brings you some value. And I gotta tell you, this video is not for the faint of heart. This is gonna be an exhortation to do better, to do work, and to strive to get better. And you're not gonna find a lot of sympathy for laziness, excuses, and things like that. With that said, if you wanna actually get better at this game, I'm here to give you a framework and some steps that'll help you do that practically. I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Good day, hope you're well. Welcome back. Welcome to my top tips for tackling tough content. Hope today's treating you well. You know, this is just my little piece to give back to the community. I enjoy this game. I enjoy hanging out with y'all. I enjoy tackling this tough content as it comes out and obtaining those rewards. And I figured with my background and expertise, I might just be able to help you do the same. You know, I hearken back to elementary school and also my previous boss who used to say, tell me what you're gonna tell me, then tell me, and tell me what you told me. So this is what we've got on deck today. We're gonna take a look at why you should even listen to what I have to say, break down a problem solving process and break through the pieces in order to give you the tools you need to overcome any piece of content in Marvel Contest of Champions and also probably apply practically to your daily life. Let's get into it. So let's talk credentials. Now I'm not the type of person who just reads off the slide, so you can take a look at it for yourself. But fundamentally, I spent a lot of years in aerospace. I've learned how to break big problems into tiny pieces. Some of the largest castings we would take care of were up to eight, nine feet in diameter. And my team was responsible for measuring down to thousands of inches. In fact, I've even argued with someone about a measurement, the width of a bacteria. I've been specifically trained in problem solving. I've also been playing this game for a long time. I've crushed through a lot of content the last year and a half once I decided to start taking this a little more seriously. I'm constantly chasing top end content. And I do, to date, believe I hold the fastest single session, seven for seven on YouTube, where I wrapped that up in just over six hours. Six hours and one minute, in fact. With that history, my mindset has very much shifted not to see problems, but to acknowledge those problems and to seek opportunities. So the main problem as to why we're here, this content's tough. What is it exactly we're here to do? What's our mission and why are we doing it? Well, you know what it is. We want those sweet rewards. Optimally, you can have fun along the way. So why even take the time? Why not just go in and throw Herc at everything or your most overpowered champions and not worry about having to think about problems, read nodes, do all that stuff. The reality is you can't do that with everything. At some point in time, you're going to hit some problem in this game or in life that's going to require you to step back and actually make a plan. And when you do that, well, it turns out a structured approach is going to help you in both in your preparation and your execution as it pertains to solving that particular problem. The structured approach is gonna give you a roadmap to remove the fear, to see a path to success, and provide a repeatable common method that you can apply throughout your life that will lead to a more fun and enjoyable experience. One last thing before we get into the nitty gritty, and that's about alignment. Aligning your heart, your mind, and your soul when it comes to tackling this content or any other problem in the world that's meant to challenge you. It's important to remember that a challenge is meant to be exactly that, a challenge. It isn't meant to be easy. To some people, it will look easy. They will make it look easy. The facts are, sometimes they're just better at it than we are. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you have to work harder. Hey, but when you have to work harder, you gotta prepare yourself to do that work. You gotta understand that stress will get you. Those who have been grinding at BGs knows that if you get into the tilt, the tilt will cost you. Okay? You gotta make sure that you prioritize the stuff that has to be done first. If it's gonna be permanent, let it be. Prioritize and execute, it's not that hard. And also, you need to take responsibility for yourself. You know yourself best. You know how you learn best. You know what champs you use best. Apply that knowledge and go get at it. Now that we're aligned, 
let's get to the real work. And as with any good problem, you start at the beginning, which is clearly and concisely defining the problem. What exactly are we trying to solve? In this case, what exactly are we trying to tackle? We have to think through those things we learned in elementary school. The who, what, when, where, why, how, and how much. If you need to, and I'll show examples of what I've done later, you need to document or outline what you're trying to do. Study what needs to be done. Note in your head, what can go wrong? What can go right? What is the actual problem? And how to identify a specific solution to that problem? And then take a look at what it's gonna cost you to take care of that problem. Once you've got a handle on exactly what it is you're trying to tackle, you've outlined the piece of content, you've mapped things out, you're ready to go. Well, then you get into preparation. What do I need to do? What are others doing? What are the difference in skill levels? You gotta remember that sometimes, if this is meant to be tough, that you're not doing it for entertainment. Sometimes you need to use champs you don't wanna use because it's the right thing to do. And if you don't wanna do that, that's okay. You can use champs that are less optimal. You just have to build that into your expectations. Remember, I'm not here saying you gotta do anything any certain way. I'm just trying to give you a framework and tools to reduce your stress, achieve your desired outcomes, and optimize the experience along the way. As has been said for generations, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You'd be amazed how often an ounce of preparation would save a lot of units. Preparation doesn't need to be complicated. As you can see right here, this was a simple, basic list I put together to help me go through seven for seven. Yeah, it took me a little bit of time, maybe an hour or so, but in going through that outline, it allowed me to get that done in just over six hours, almost pain-free. So now that we've got a map, and now that we've got an outline, let's get to the next part of preparation, which is consumables. I cannot stress enough that you want to go into every piece of content that you're trying to tackle with an abundance of consumables. Take a look at what other people are spending. Go watch YouTubers, talk to your friends, consider their skill levels and your skill level and be honest with yourself. Make a number, figure out what you think you're gonna need in terms of revives, potions, units, etc., And then get another 25%. Get another 50% on top of that. You don't want to be three quarters through a quest starting to stress if you're going to be able to make it. Having to go sit in the arena to grind out units to try to buy a revive to try to finish this thing out. You don't want to do it. Don't sleep on auto fighting Realm of Legends. You can take your highest ranked champions and send them in there and let them fight while you're working, while you're doing schoolwork, while you're doing housework. That passive potion farming racks up quickly. It was very helpful in some of the high-end content I've had to push through. And of course, get those big boosts out. This is the time. And lastly, before we get into execution, I just wanna go back to expectations one more time because your mindset going into a challenge will tremendously impact the result. Set your expectations. I will struggle. I will be challenged. And I am prepared for this challenge in front of me. I am going to rise up and I am going to overcome it. And now where rubber meets the road, it's time to get in it. You've prepared, you've made a map, you've outlined, you've gotten your consumables, you've aligned your heart, mind, and soul. You're prepared. You know that you're going to avoid the tilt. You're ready to do this then. You know it's gonna be hard. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Start off with some practice. Do some warm up fights. Get in there, maybe get a fight or two down, get a couple deaths, go restart. Pick a point and commit. You get to a point where you're two, three fights into a big piece of content, whatever the number is, at some point in time, there's no turning back. Draw that line in the sand and go get after it. Now, as some of you may know, the Crucible's coming out in a short period of time. Here is a brief outline I've made for one of my paths. Very similar to what you saw for 7 for 7, I mapped out my fights, 
highlighted a little bit of color, put my top ranked counters over on the right side, and just started picking one at a time. Piecing the puzzle together, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Let's get it Wednesday, baby. Well, you've made it this far, and now it's time for me to tell you what I told you. We've done all this to give you some framework for solving a problem. Why? So you can tackle something that's meant to challenge you. Keeping your stress low, having a handle on what you're trying to do, having a plan and a path to success, and then walking that path. Keep that stress down, give yourself the runway, prioritize your temporary content. If you tilt, walk away. It's okay to take a break, but don't be soft. Challenging yourself and setting high expectations is a good thing. And lastly, let's remember, baby, this is a mobile video game. Recommendation, chill. Well, peeps, there you have it. My top tips for tackling tough content. As always, I'm here to help. Here's how you get a hold of me. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a pleasure. And until next time, peace. Thank you.